Hello, welcome back. I'm Nicole, the Mad About Meds pharmacist, and I'm here today to talk about the 2023 influenza vaccine and the new RSV vaccine that's out this year. So stay tuned. Let's first discuss the flu vaccine. All vaccines, again this year, are quadrivalent, meaning that they protect against four strains of the flu. And it has an updated influenza A, H1N1 strain. You should get vaccinated ideally in September or October before the usual start of flu season. If you don't get vaccinated by Halloween, don't fret. You can still get vaccinated at any point over the winter. It's still going to help. The CDC also came out with stronger recommendations for anybody who has an egg allergy. Those with egg allergies actually don't have a higher reaction rate compared to those without an egg allergy. For those patients who are over the age of 65, be sure to ask for a high-dose vaccine. If they aren't available, any age-appropriate vaccine will work, but the high-dose might cause your body to have a better immune response than the lower-dose vaccine. You might hear about flu boosters. They aren't a thing. So don't ask for a vaccine in September and then another one in January. They only recommend one a year. Flumist is an intranasal option, but generally is less favored than the injectable forms. If you prefer to have the nasal formulation, it's only available to patients aged 2 through 48 who are not pregnant. The most common complaint I hear is that I got the flu from the flu vaccine. So all the injectable forms of the flu vaccine are not live vaccines, and it's actually impossible to get the flu from the flu shot. The reality is that it takes about two weeks for your body's immune response to be strong enough to help protect you from the flu. So these individuals likely came in contact with the influenza virus or even another virus that they thought was the flu, and it made them sick before the body built up those protective antibodies. Another common question the last few years is, is there going to be a combination flu and COVID vaccine? So it's not yet on the market for this year, but they are studying a combination product. Remember, the flu vaccine isn't a magic wand to protect you from an influenza. But if you do get influenza this winter, your chances of getting severe disease where you need to be hospitalized are anywhere from 40 to 70% less. I personally get the influenza vaccine every year. And as far as I know, I've never had the flu. Hope I didn't just jinx myself. Let's switch gears and talk now about the brand new RSV or respiratory syncytial virus vaccines that just hit the market this year, Abrezvo and Arexv. I hope I said that right. Just to review, RSV is a very common virus. It causes cold-like symptoms in children and adults. It typically circulates from October through March every year. And it is possible to get RSV more than once. These two vaccines are actually approved for patients 60 years and older to lower their risk of severe RSV by about 85%. It's currently unknown how well the vaccines will prevent hospitalization. It's also still unclear how often older patients will need to get vaccinated. Those who are at higher risk of severe RSV and influenza should consider getting vaccinated. So these are patients, people with diabetes, chronic lung disease, chronic heart disease, immunocompromised patients. These RSV vaccines are not live vaccines and therefore cannot cause RSV. So side effects from both RSV and the influenza vaccines are minimal, but they might include fever, body aches, injection site pain, and redness. Additionally, Abrisvo is now approved for use in pregnant women at 32 to 36 weeks gestational age. This immunization is given to protect the infant through about six months of age. We know that RSV can be more severe in infants. The mother will produce antibodies while she's pregnant and pass those antibodies along to her developing child, leading to some protection from RSV after birth. This strategy of passive immunity, it's not uncommon. We currently also vaccinate pregnant individuals in the same time frame for pertussis or whooping cough, and that helps to protect the child after birth as well. Pregnant individuals also are encouraged to get the influenza vaccine while pregnant. I know vaccinations are always a hot topic of debate for groups of people, but I really do believe in the science behind vaccines, and I really am an advocate for vaccine and providing vaccine information to the public. And by the way, you can get vaccinated for all three vaccines, RSV, 
influenza and COVID this fall at the same time now because of side effects, you could separate them. And I do recommend separating them by about two weeks each. And you know, I can't end my video without a pharmacy joke. So today I'm gonna to bring you a meme. Now this meme is one from Oprah Winfrey, one of her favorite things where she's holding her arms out and saying, you get one, you get one. So I hope you find this funny. <laughs> it's flu related. I thought it was hilarious. Again, corny sense of humor over here. Anywho, I hope that you liked this video and found it informational. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more awesome videos like this. And I will see you next time. Bye.